kitchen. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna make a giant raindrop cake. I made a donut raindrop cake, but it wasn't, you know, I didn't get to cut it up and do all the fun stuff I usually do with Jello. so I was like, let's make a giant one. Oh, here we go, let's go! I used about 12 fourths teaspoons of agar agar because I used about six cups of water that fills this whole circular thing, but you wanna mix it in and make it all nice and pretty and then just dump the whole bucket in, yes! Like that, dump it in, mix it around until it boils, and then of course, after it boils, you want to get the container that you want and just pour it all nice in there. Yes. Oh, oh, this is hot. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that's a Christmas sweater right there. Yep, Christmas sweater because we're rich here. Yeah, no oven mitts for us. Ooh. Right, you know what? I'm just going to try to put it on this. If it falls off of it, it's fine. Thing is, I don't know if it's like hard like jello. You know, I'm scared. I'm so scared right now. Like, it could pour everywhere. Everywhere. This is too small for it. Uh, I don't know what to do. Here we go, guys. Mm. Okay. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> what a fail. Oh, my God. I'm so wet right now. Oh, my gosh. The biggest fail of my life. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was definitely not hard enough. Um, uh, well, that was a fail. I got some on here. I will say, agar agar is a lot easier to clean than jello. Because jello sucks. I've cleaned so much jello in my life. This is way better. Okay, this is try number two. I just said, screw it, we're pouring in everything. So I didn't even care about the clarity of it. As you can see, you cannot even see through this thing. It's still a giant raindrop cake, nevertheless. So, okay, it's definitely stuck to the edges. Okay, I'm gonna get something to warm it up still because I feel like that would help it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that. This is warm water and it's gonna help loosen up the raindrop cake. Come on, baby. This is like giving birth to a raindrop cake. I'm giving it a water birth. Gotta move it around. Okay. Now it's time, baby. Birth it into this world. And then just flip it over. Here we go. Wait. Oh, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, I'm... Hey, I'm giving birth to you. One, two, three. Whoa. All right, <laughs> I did it. Look at it. It's massive. Wow. Whoa, look how jiggly this is. Oh wow, wow, forget Jello. This cuts so smooth and satisfying. Like look at, look at this blade. Like I'm just gonna like not even put any force. Let it like s slide in. It's sliding into those DMs. Look at it, I'm gonna go. Look, oh, my gosh. It's so tender. This is like the filet mignon of the gelatin world. Like guys, guys, this is why raindrop cake is a delicacy. This is so beautiful. So satisfying. Ah. Sorry, it just got too quiet. Ah, yeah. You guys might already know I love my raindrop cake from my raindrop donuts. Can I do a taste test right here. I'll do big some big pieces. Bam! But I'm gonna enjoy this so much. Mm. It's so different. It really, like, 
I can't stress the fact enough that it really tastes like rain. Like, if you've ever eaten rain outside, this is exactly what it tastes like. And if you guys are wondering what the powder tastes like, yeah, it's like a, if peanut butter was kind of powdered. It's not very strong peanut butter. It's like a light, like a light peanut butter. And then this syrup is just like a nice, sugary, caramelly. Mm, I didn't eat this whole thing. I'm being here all night. Like, I'm, I want to make this for someone's birthday. Like, happy birthday, giant raindrop cake. And thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace. I'm lucky I'm single right now because I could probably get a girl pregnant with this. Cause what up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna be making raindrop donuts. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, but let's do it. I'm using about two cups of water. I'm using three tablespoons of agar agar powder. I think that's how you say it. agar agar. Three tablespoons. I found this recipe online, so I just followed it to the T. Got my donut tray here, and I'm just pouring it in. Looks a little murky, and 